Um, I'm not saying who you you tell me whoever's up. I'm right. Good. Sorry. Yeah, no, he's been great. Uh, everything's been good all spring. He's um, got adjusted quickly like we anticipated, and um, he's done a, a variety of things that, is, that have helped us um, continue to move forward and progress and get better. Uh, a lot of it language-wise, um, trying to simplify some things from a, a language standpoint. Again, sometimes when you get outside of a system and you got to go to several places and start completely over and everybody's new, you you figure out how to be even more efficient. I did it when I, I left Oklahoma originally in 2012 to uh, to go to Clemson, and, and then he's been able to do it in some different ways and and uh, some had some really uh, good ideas to help people uh, learn a little more efficiently and whatnot. But everything's been great. Um, uh, the red red uh, uh, got the dub today, and that was that was awesome. And um, defensively, I you know I told Naked Blitz I had one blitz and a couple coverages, and that was it. So uh, just kept things vanilla and got guys to to play hard and play with fundamentals, and guys get it exposed and find some things that we got to get better at, you know, from a fundamental standpoint. But overall, top to bottom, from beginning to end of uh, since January, has been uh, fantastic. Yeah, and again, it, today was another day. And again, I always look at, again, a body of work. And you know, I'd go all the way back to January and been uh, incredibly pleased with um, the progress, the leadership, um, you know, the things that he does uh, from a decision making standpoint and uh, taking care of the football. Those are the things that I, that I look for. And he's been a great leader uh, as well. Um, both in our out of season program and then once we jumped into spring ball and um and again I expect another you know jump uh, during the course of the summer a lot of player led things happen in the summertime and um and so they've got to do a great job for us to be where we want to be when we come back in August he's got to do a great job and everybody is not just one person but he leads the way uh from a you know uh being player driven and and getting things done uh, being efficient and working together uh, and uh, and again, continue to build again our chemistry, our cohesion, our relationships, all those things that are incredibly important. You know, we have thirty percent of our of our guys that were in the locker room right now. This was their first spring game, and by the time you know we get back together in August, they'll be uh, just under forty percent. I think it's thirty eight percent percent will be uh, first time you know fall participants uh, so uh, really uh, looking forward to that and really excited about the additions that we've made both through high school and a few of the portal uh, additions as well you know you know I really feel like uh, that's been a group of guys that have, have helped us um, have created a value for themselves have earned some trust and and, uh, and again the summertime will be another opportunity for them to continue to enhance that Well, I think, um, you know, again, uh, knowing the different personnel uh, groupings that um, that uh, that we're working with, there's, you know, it's more than just 11 guys. It's you're you're, you're hopeful that you have, you know, you know 22 guys uh, that you you know that you can trust and uh, count on. But finding the right group of guys, um, you know, discovering, you know, again the strengths and uh, where are some areas that you got to get better at. And uh, you know some of that takes some time, but uh, again, looking for guys from an accountability standpoint and a leadership standpoint, you're developing that nonstop uh, timing, um, run, pass, all the the scheme wise. You know, you know, you're really trying to establish standards and you know how we do what we do from uh, effort and toughness and straining to finish. Those are all really important things to make sure that the you have several new guys involved this is this is how we do what we do and making sure that that is where it needs to be and, and you're kind of nurturing that the whole uh spring so um you know i'm again i, I really like that there's a whole bunch of guys in that and those three groups of guys that went out there that i think collectively uh will will help us you know have a chance to be another really explosive uh, uh offense and and uh, we got a lot of weapons um both 
uh, in the backfield and at tight end, at receiver, quarterbacks, they have the ability to uh, to run and to pass. And so I uh, really like the body of work, you know, coming out of the spring. And again, have a great expectation that we'll, we'll be a better version of ourselves when we start in August. Brent, Deion Burks's impact on the offense was really on display, especially that first half. Just how did you see him fit in this spring and, and how big was his first half today? Yeah, probably again the best thing that he does is his work ethic. Uh, he's tremendous work ethic, and he he's wide open when it comes to uh, to practice and just uh, you know, passion for the game. Incredibly competitive, and um, so again he helps the guys he's lining up against. He helps the the guys that he's lining up next to as well. And so he's been fantastic, great playmaker. You know he's got tremendous speed and quickness. Got great hands. Uh, natural feel for the game at receiver and how he fits in, you know, with our offense and uh, whether it's uh, the drop back pass game or our RPO world, uh, he's he's really done a great job of learning what to do and uh, transitioning that within our system. George, yeah, Brent, uh, we saw the defensive line get after quite a bit of quite a few guys, Grayson Hall, Ron Sears, and. Uh, PJ, how do you feel like that unit has, has really progressed so far this spring? Yeah, and we've had a lot of guys that got have gotten better. You mentioned two of them, or three of them there, and they all have uh, made really great improvement. Devon Sears, I think we we gave him the most improved award of guys uh, up front, inside in particular. Uh, but Grayson has made tremendous improvement. PJ uh and our mason those guys have have really gotten better ethan is a better player right now than what he what what he was to finish the season had a really good all-conference type of season and and then we got some really good young guys that um that we feel really good about and um and, and some of them are, are guys that are returning whether it's a, a marcus strong uh type of guy or a david stone and uh Jaden jackson uh some other young guys that are into the system. Champ Sanders had an excellent spring along. Again, you mentioned Grayson, and uh, he's really coming into his own. And, uh, it's around 290 pounds. I think Stone and uh, Jaden both tipped in over 300 pounds yesterday. And so we got quite a few guys that, again, I, I expect to make another big jump uh, in the course of the summer. The weight room being in great shape, the strength, uh, our size, all those things. And and um, again, all spring, they, they had a great spring. Not a good spring, we had a great spring uh, up front. Ryan Chapman, Brent, flip that around. Those guys are going up against. Have you seen the offensive line that evolution throughout the spring? Yeah, I, I probably, um, you know, I was most excited about the, the improvement from uh, Josh Bates. You know, and I, again, there's a whole bunch of guys, but Josh, Josh Bates had a, again, I just remember where he was. You know, during the season last year, and certainly last spring as well, we we couldn't get a good snap off, and and uh, had a great spring and tough guys. He's uh, made tremendous improvement in you know, leadership and uh, effort. Uh, everything goes through him. He touches the ball every snap. So I really liked the, the things that he was able to do and improve at this spring. Um, Fabeci uh, was a, another tremendous addition, and he was a leader early on. A uh, great competitor, a natural leader. And uh, had a really, really good spring. Heath Ozida, another inside guy, uh, really uh, strong. We had a bunch of young guys that got, uh, you know, a bunch of quality reps. So whether it was a Sosa or Brooks, uh, the, you know, those guys did a great job uh, this spring. And, and you know, Garen Hatchett is a, is a young man that obviously uh, we're really counting on and uh, has great experience, has played at a really high level. He can play lots of positions. And uh, he'll be uh, cleared to start working, doing drill work and those types of things, all controlled, but starting in June here uh, shortly and excited about the leadership that he'll bring. It's hard to lead when you're not able to uh, able to go through just the simple things like, like uh, Indy and things like that. But uh, in due time, he's going to uh, – he'll, he'll be a fixture from a leadership standpoint and bring a lot uh, to the table. But uh, the young guys, uh, Logan Howland and um, – you know, really excited about the, the improvement that he made and again expect him to have another big jump. But uh, Jake Taylor and uh, Jacob Sexton, uh, again, were, were fantastic um, all spring. They're, they're all playing their best football uh, right now. Uh, Michael Tarquin, uh, Spencer Brown, again, same thing. My, Mike Tarquin made great, great improvement from the moment that he got here to where he's at right now. And, 
Uh, Spencer's done a really good job. They're mature guys. They've played a lot of football. Uh, and so that, you know, that brings a lot to that group that overall at, in Oklahoma uniform, we don't have a, a ton of experience. So uh, those guys have really blended well. And again, chemistry wise, they've spent a lot of time together. I think the whole line group went to uh, Maui together, uh, did a service trip together to continue to build those relationships. They understand the importance of that. Uh, again, that cohesion there, and they spent a lot of time together. It's um, they've d done a great job from a, a leadership standpoint, and and being again um, uh, just taking the initiative uh, to um, spend the type type of time together, watching tape, and those types of things, getting on the same page. And uh, I don't know if I messed. I'd leave anybody else out there up front. Okay, so. You know, Brent, you always want to play a lot of guys on defense. We saw a lot of guys today. Did this spring give you an indication you're going to be able to do that next year? No doubt. Um, we're, again, a year ago, I think one of the keys to uh, the, you know, the depth of improvement that we made was the competitive depth that we had. Obviously, we got, we've got one guy that has started, uh, you know, a college football game returning interior-wise. And so that's always a little bit concerning. Uh, you know, I think the next most reps are around like 98 snaps of our next most uh, snaps from a defensive tackle standpoint. Everywhere else, we've got, uh, again, tremendous um, experience and um, playmaking, really like where we're at. I've, we've made great improvement in our back seven, and particularly at that corner and that safety, developing uh, the depth there. Um, not just having guys that can go in and play, but play at a high level. Uh, I really like what we've done in the spring at corner. Uh, just feel I feel great about where we're, where we're at, doing little things better than than what we were doing a, a year ago. And uh, but there's no doubt that you know top to bottom. Um, particularly at defensive end, at linebacker, safety, and at corner. We've got more guys that can play at a really, really high level. And, uh, and again, we have great leadership in, in all those groups as well. Brent, how do, you, how do you feel about your quarterback room as a whole exiting spring? Yeah, again, I feel better than, um, you know, really, you know, with uh, Dylan by himself last year and, and Jackson – you know, being a true freshman, uh, where he was, you know, he felt great about Dylan, and and uh, there's a lot of unknown uh, after Jackson, and I feel like we have more guys there than what we had uh, a year ago. Uh, Mike Mike uh, Hawkins was uh, really good all spring, and anybody that uh, saw us play, it was easy to see. And um, uh, again, uh, it's not always fair um, to you know get one. Uh, one opportunity to watch him here today to, to, to make judgment on him. He's had a really good spring, and again, he'll have another opportunity to make a big jump here over the course of summer. But we feel good about it. Um, again, great leadership. Um, guys got the arm talent and the ability to run and the instincts and the leadership, all those things that you want. And, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, Casey Thompson's also somebody that'll. He'll start being cleared to, to throw with the guys, and he's a guy that started a lot of college football games as well. And so that's 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 the depth in, at that position more so than what we had, you know, a year ago. Not even close to where we were a year ago. Dean uh, Okoye, I didn't realize he was all the way up to two fifty or fifty five. Yeah. Says he still runs the same. What, where do you see him? I know he's on the edge now. What are you projecting there, and when? And Javante Barnes. I guess wasn't didn't play today. And he, where was where was he? Yeah. So uh, Danny's had a, a really good um, uh, a spring, and since he got here in January, Danny's again a tremendous talent. Got great size and speed. He's just learning how to play uh, the game. You know, from a, a process standpoint, and uh, doing all the little things right. Uh, you know, he flashed uh, nonstop throughout the course of the spring, and he's still got a lot to improve, like a lot of the young guys. Um, you know, a lot to learn still in the course of uh, the summer, but really excited about, you know, uh, what he's going to uh, become o over the course of the next uh, few years. But hopefully he'll he'll continue to make improvement where he we can count on him to be a, a rotation guy. Uh, but he's long, he's fast, he's explosive, he's really competitive, and, uh, and he's a really uh, smart guy from, uh, you know, learning the defense. He's put in a lot of time. Uh, to to learn, so it's um, 
it'll pay off. And uh, Javante, again, again, he's had a, a good spring, and uh, you know, I think we wanted to focus on some guys that haven't played quite as much and uh, give them an opportunity to to uh, you know to come out of the spring, uh, know where they're at and what they're going to be able to help us do in the in the, in this you know going into fall camp next year. Yeah, same question about Allie for Seth, what you saw out of him, what you like about him, how things are different. And also, are we going to get to talk to Seth and, and or Zach at any time? Maybe. I'm still, We're still thinking that through. No. Um, uh, yeah, Seth and Joe John and the rest of the offensive staff, they were great. You know, again, feel really good about where we're at and uh, really trying to, again, establish, um, you know, the fundamentals of what we're doing, the effort of what we're doing, the systems and how the systems operate. You know, we've got a lot of flexibility within those systems to um, to be right on offense uh, with a lot of the things that we do systematically. And uh, so getting uh, that group of guys, uh, the players, uh, at all the positions that that applies to, to, to get on the same page. And so really excited about, uh, again, the things that we've been able to tinker with and uh, things that, you know, they've, both uh, Joe John and Seth have brought to the table that are going to put our guys in position to be successful. Um, again, we have a, a few guys that um, that weren't able to participate in the spring that once they get cleared here uh, this summer that uh, we'll be able to continue to work with our guys and, and put together a great product and have another explosive offense. We, we had great explosive plays uh, all throughout the spring. I'm really excited about you know the playmaking, um, both at running back, at receiver, at tight end. Uh, and then when we get again the the depth of the guys that you know several guys that were banged up uh, during the during the uh, spring when we get them all together I really like the group of guys that you know Seth and Joe John and the rest of the offensive staff have to work with. You want to follow up about the explosive? You got a guy like Burks in the slot. Drake's been there forever. It's a great receiver mm -hmm. possession. You get a first down. You're sending deep very often. How does it change things when you got a deep threat coming out of the slot? Yeah, I mean it. The ability to throw both underneath and deep at um, your your coverages are affected. Um, you know who you're you're matching things up with, whether it's a quarter safety or spin down safety, or it's a you know it's a you know uh, an additional corner or whoever that additional defender is. Um, your star, your your fifth DB, if you will, and so you know it it makes the, the matchups a little more difficult. Um, when you got somebody that can challenge you vertically um, as well as underneath, so um, you know he'll. Again, Drake was a, a high-producing uh, receiver. You know, it didn't matter what you asked that guy to do. If that was beat somebody, you know, uh, on an over route or get open on an underneath crosser or something like that. You know, Drake would make all the competitive plays, and so uh, we'll need to continue to have that in that type of production come out that out of that position in order for us to be successful, you know, uh, systematically. All right. You all have a good one.